Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Outback Travel Australia. The Hilux has been four-wheel drive market leader for many years. This latest model has new bodywork, a revised chassis and running gear, and all new engine and transmission combinations. The petrol engine is a good performer and much more economical than we thought. On a 2,000 kilometre road trip, it averaged 11 litres per 100k and it consumes about 12 to 14 litres per 100 around town. I've owned two Hiluxes and both of them needed aftermarket suspension and this new one is exactly the same. It's very bouncy at the back end. Despite a bouncy ride, the Hilux handles reasonably well. The steering is light, turning circles a bit large. For our severe off-road rocky hill climb, we'll engage low range and the rear diff lock. When you engage low range, Traction control remains, but stability control is switched off. Like all Toyota diff locks, the rear diff lock won't engage until it detects some wheel spin. For this steep downhill rocky section, we'll use Toyota's DAC, which is downhill assist control. Everyone else calls it hill descent control. Unlike the top shelf Triton, the SR5 Hilux doesn't have full time four wheel drive. So you can't use four wheel drive on high friction surfaces. The SR5's navigation system has got good bush mapping. Fire trails are shown quite clearly in brown on green, but some of the main roads are white on pale green, very hard to see. The big petrol V6 slots in the Hilux engine bay quite neatly. Everything's easy to get at. There's plenty of space for a full-sized auxiliary battery. And the air cleaner is large and very easy to get to. This crew cab is an SR5 model. It has a car-like dashboard now. Ergonomics are very good. Vision is excellent and the mirrors are good. The front seats are very comfortable and supportive for long distances. The rear is a bit squeezy. Not a whole heap of knee room. The diesel engine mates very well to the manual box and to the automatic. Shift quality is excellent in both manual and automatic transmissions. I think the diesel manual is probably the best set up engine transmission combination in the ute market. The diesel engine has no turbo lag whatsoever. No matter what the revs, response is instant. It's an excellent engine. Diesel economy has proved very good on this test. In varying road and off-road conditions, running lightly loaded and with 450 kilograms in the tray, we're averaging between 8 and 9.5 litres per 100 k. Fortunately, the traction and stability control system keeps the bouncy rear end under control on loose surfaces. The springs work fine. There's plenty of wheel travel. It's only the dampers that let the ride quality down. The traction control worked just as well in this rocky stuff as using the rear diff lock and there was no risk of spinning out the front axles. For our downhill section we'll use Toyota's 
downhill assist control. The Hilux diesel engine bay is also a model for how all engine bays should be. Big air cleaner, inner mudguard air intake, easily reached fuel filter and plenty of space for an auxiliary battery. The Hilux's two engines, petrol and diesel, combine beautifully with the manual or automatic transmissions. I think they've done enough to retain their number one market position, but time will tell. Thank you.